let's learn more about points and group of points as we have seen in the max 1 about union and intersection of sets same we are going to use here also as we are going to learn about sets of point and that is segment ray and a line so let's see first one is line segment here you can see the diagram of a line segment so the union of set of point a point b and the points between a and b is called segment a b okay so here in the diagram there is two end point point a and point b and it is joined with the help of a line so in that line also there are many numbers of points so that points point a and point b the union of all this is nothing but a line segment okay and how it is written it is written as seg a b or seg b a both we can use and point a and point b are called the end point of seg a b so here is the seg a b and a and b are the end points of this segment the distance between the end points of a segment is called the length of the segment that is length a b is equals to distance between point a and point b length a b is equals to 5 is also written as a b is equals to 5 so this length a b is nothing but the distance between two points and that is that point is a and b okay so this is the segment this is the length of the segment the distance between two points and if we are writing length a b is equals to 5 then also we can write as a b is equals to 5 so this was all about line segment next one is ray okay so here is a ray a b what exactly is a ray it is a portion of a line which starts at a point and goes in a particular direction to infinity you can see here in the diagram of ray a b here a is a end point but after b there is a arrow which shows that it ends to the infinity ye line kitni bhi badi ho sakti after the point b okay and here also one point is given that is point p so what is ray a and b are the two distinct point the union set of all points on seg a b and points p such that a dash b dash p is called ray a b okay so what is ray here the union of point a point b and also the point p and many numbers of points after b or between a and b all the set of all is nothing but ray a b you can also write it as ray a b okay it has one end point and one point goes up to infinity means there are n numbers of point present there in a ray okay here point a is called the end point of ray a b ray always has single end point okay for example you can say sun ray you never say sun line or sun segment why because the sun light has only one end point okay and the other end point is infinity means jahan tak jagah milegi sunlight wahan tak jata hai so sunlight has only one end point and it is sun itself and there is no other end point that's why it is always called as sun ray it is never called as sun segment so sun is the best example to understand what is ray next let us see what is opposite rays so here you can see in the diagram two rays having a common origin and lying on the same line in opposite direction are said to be opposite rays okay so here one line is present and there are two rays ray ob and ray oa so their directions are opposite one uh, direct to left side and one is dire uh, directing to the right side 
okay so here ray oa and ray ob have a common origin o and they lie on same line in opposite direction therefore rays oa and ob are called opposite rays so that's why they are called as opposite ray because they are directing to the opposite side to each other okay but they have a common origin that is o and here this two uh, opposite ray form a single line okay here line ab is formed and it has two rays directing opposite to each other so let's see what is line so here is example of line ab the union set of points on ray ab and the opposite ray of ray ab is called line ab the set of points of seg ab is a subset of points of line ab so this means that line is always a set of ray and the opposite ray for example here is ray ab we have seen that if we are if we have to make opposite ray of ray ab then let's uh, take a point c and we will make a ray there so it has common point a so the opposite ray and the ray ab they both make a line that is line ab so it is union of ray and the opposite ray also a segment is a subset of line okay because it is a part of a line here you can see ab segment and the line ab segment is a part of a line that's why it is a subset of a line let's see congruent segments here you can see there are two segments seg ab and seg cd if the length of two segments is equal then the two segments are congruent here ab and cd the length of both the segment is completely equal so therefore they are called as congruent segments if length ab is equals to length cd then seg ab is congruent to seg cd this is the symbol of congruent okay so if the length is equal of two segments then they are congruent to each other let's see some properties of congruent segments the first property is reflexivity it says segment ab is congruent to segment ab that means every segment is congruent to itself that is it is equal to itself next property is symmetry if segment ab is congruent to segment cd then segment cd is also congruent to segment ab that means they are congruent to each other equal to each other third one transitivity if segment ab is congruent to segment cd and segment cd is congruent to segment ef then segment ab is congruent to ef also okay if segment ab is congruent to cd and cd is congruent to other segment that is ef then because ab is congruent to cd that that's why ab will also be congruent to ef because cd and ef is equal or congruent so let's see next one midpoint of a segment you can see in the figure if a dash m dash b that means all the three points are collinear to each other and also seg am is congruent to seg mb then m is called the midpoint of seg ab so here point m is between point a and b and also point m divides the segment into two equal parts okay that means am is equals to mb so that's why point m is called as midpoint and every segment has one and only one midpoint for example if segment ab is of 10 cm and m is between the a and b and it divides the one segment into two equal parts that is 10 cm into 5 cm and 5 cm 
that means m is perfectly between a and b that's why it is dividing both of them into equal parts therefore it is called as mid point because it is in the middle of the line okay this point is in the middle that's why it is called as mid point of the segment so this was also very easy let's see comparison of segments that means we are comparing two segments here two segments are given seg ab and seg cd if length of segment ab is less than the length of segment cd it is written as segment ab is less than segment cd or segment cd is greater than segment ab the comparison of segments depend upon their length okay so as we have seen the congruent uh, segments how we measure are they congruent or not by measuring their length so similar is here also we have to measure two segments if we are uh, if they are not equal that means one should be greater another one should be lesser in the length so here ab is shorter than seg cd so how we will write here two ways are given of writing first one is seg ab is less than seg cd and other one is seg cd is greater than seg ab so here we are comparing two segments that way it is called as comparison of segments which one is greater and which one is shorter longer or shorter next one is perpendicularity of segments or rays so here are two lines given line ab and line cd if the lines containing two segments two rays or a ray and a segment are perpendicular to each other then the two segments two rays or the segment and a ray are said to be perpendicular to each other okay so here are two lines given line ab and line cd and as we have seen that segment or ray they are the part of a line so here this line also contains two segments or two rays or one segment or one ray okay so it contains everything and here it is shown that these two lines are perpendicular to each other which means they are forming 90 degree here you can see they are forming right angle so if the lines are perpendicular then the segments which are a part of that they are also perpendicular the two segments two rays one segment one ray all are perpendicular to each other therefore seg ab is perpendicular to line cd segment is perpendicular to line here in the next one seg ab is perpendicular to ray cd here segment is perpendicular to ray next one is distance of a point from a line if seg cd is perpendicular to line ab and the point d lies on the line ab then the length of seg cd is called the distance of point c from the line ab so here you can see there is a line ab and seg cd is perpendicular to it means they are forming right angle so c is a point outside of the line ab and it intersect to the line ab at the point d and therefore they are forming a segment cd and they are perpendicular so this point c is outside from the line and if we have to find out the distance between the point c and the line ab then how we will find we will measure the length of this perpendicular segment that is cd so the point d is called the foot of the perpendicular it is called as the foot of the perpendicular if length cd is equals to a then the point c is at a distance of a from the line ab so c is a point outside of the line if we if we have to find the distance of point c from the uh, line ab then how we will find we will measure the length of seg cd because it shows how far is point c from line ab therefore if length of cd is a then the distance between point c and the line ab is also a 
okay so if we have to find any point which is outside from the line we will draw a perpendicular to the line from that point okay so all of these were very easy what is line what is ray what is seg we have seen all that and some properties also of segments rays perpendicularity and everything was very very easy i hope you have understood everything